Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Chopbox Studios. Today, we're doing something a little different. Today, I attempted to restore this really old rusted butter knife from the 1800s and turned it into an awesome letter opener, which kind of looked like Nanami's blade from Jujutsu Kaisen, oddly enough. So for the first step, I decided to soak the blade in warm distilled water to remove any surface rust or larger particles. After soaking the blade, I decided to hit the blade with some sandpaper since there was some tough rust sticking to the blade itself. After slowly removing most of the rust, I decided to give the blade a vinegar soak for about 24 hours. Alright guys, so we waited a whole day for this to sit in some vinegar. So look at the inside, you can see all the grime and nastiness that came out of it. And this is our finished product after the vinegar. We're going to wipe this down, scrub it again, and then we're going to take it over to the sander and we're gonna attempt to get a shine on this thing, hopefully, kinda shape it up. So, we'll go there and we'll get back when we're done with that. All right guys, so as you can see, this is the blade after one vinegar soak for 24 hours. You can definitely tell that the rust is very thick on this blade. As you can see, the difference between the middle portion and the bottom portion. And if I flip it over, there's still a lot of rust all over the blade itself. So we're gonna take it to the sander, hopefully get that shine through and see what happens. Shine on there. All right, guys, so update real quick. As you can see, we're getting that shine out finally, but as you can see here. It's breaking due to rust. You can see some holes in there. So what I'm probably gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to shape it to make like a curve and kind of turn this into like a cheese knife. It used to be a butter knife, as you can see the rounded tip, but it's not gonna work because this is just gonna break right off anytime soon now. So I'm gonna keep grinding on this thing and I'm gonna see if I can get this finish off. Now while I'm grinding this down, I want to make it abundantly clear that I am no blade master, I am no blacksmith, so I have no clue about all the tips and tricks. So for those of you who take this very seriously and have a job for this, please, please, please don't take this video seriously.
And as you can see here, I actually broke off the tip and decided to get rid of that piece because it was rusted up and had holes in it. So let's get back to work. So what I did next is I started to grind down the spine of the blade itself to get that shine throughout the handle. And I also try to shape up the blade and try to round off the tips so that way it looks more clean and more formal itself. This is the finished product in terms of sanding for now. This side's better, as you can see. Uh, what I did is I cut off the edge here, which is laying right here. Um, I cut that off and kind of turned it in. I'm going to make it into like a little mini like cleaver type of shape. So it's going to be just like this shape, kind of square, but I'm going to try to round it more at the top when I'm finished. Um, we do have a couple little holes right there, if it'll focus. We have a couple holes right there. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I don't know if I'm going to cut that off or not. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to give it another vinegar bath with baking soda as well to brush on after. And see if I can get all these deep... Uh, divots of rust because as you can see i don't know if you can see like the depth in between that but you can tell that a lot of that rust is definitely in some sort of divot okay so after giving this blade a vinegar and baking soda bath this is the best that it did to the blade itself as you can see there's a little more shine to it and a couple of those divots have been cleared of rust however it's not completely finished yet and so i'm going to try my best to polish it up as best i can just open this up Alright, at this point I decided to spray some WD-40 on the blade itself to try to get a nice good polish with the wire brush attachment on my drill. So as you can see here, I'm trying to go up and down along the blade, see if I can get a nice polish off of it, see if I can get more of that shine out, and remove some of those black spots. After polishing the blade as best as I could, I decided to grab my sander and some 80 grit sandpaper to smooth out any edges or rough holes or crevices within the blade itself and to reveal any potential holes. Alright, so I have this grit right here. I know I didn't cut my nails, so don't mind that if they get dirty, but they're, they're clean, don't worry, they're clean. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to use this grit. It's brand new. It's a little bit more rough, as you can see, 80. And we're going to slap this thing on here. We're going to sand some of these or hopefully sand some of these divots out and we'll see what goes on. So let's get into it. At this point in time, my vice grip kept slipping around and it wouldn't stay and it wouldn't hold the blade down itself. So I had to improvise and move the blade and kind of just one hand the sander at the same time. As you can see here, after sanding the blade for about 20 minutes, I was able to get most of those black spots and divots out of the blade, and I was able to smoothen up the spine itself as well as the tip of the blade itself. And it looks great, to be honest. It actually looks really good for an 1800s blade that's absolutely old as heck. Now, while I was examining the blade itself, I noticed that there was a very, very deep divot within the blade, and I noticed that the blade was very thin, and I didn't have much steel to work with, that was left over. So I don't think I was able to get most of these pittings and divots out of the blade itself, but I did my best and I think it looks great. All right guys, so as you can see, this is the finished product. This is probably the best I'm gonna do. As you can see, a lot of these, like I said, the pitting on this is very, very deep. 
and it's very thin as you can see I can't go any thinner or else it's gonna be like a really flexible piece of metal so yeah and then the handle it's the same thing basically uh, there's some deep spots like right there it's very hard to get out my main goal was just to restore this um, to a better condition than it was previously so this should work pretty much fine for me so like I said if anything it's like Nanami's blade from Jujutsu Kaisen so it's pretty sick and of course you already know we have to test this blade out so I got a box here and I'm gonna cut this corner down and see what happens now I know it's not the sharpest blade in the world, but it did an amazing job for what it is, and I'm absolutely glad that I made this. I just want to thank you all for watching this video if you guys really did enjoy this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future please 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 leave a like rate comment subscribe below it helps out a ton it helps me make more videos for you guys so please 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 leave a comment and I will see you guys in the next video peace